I got a new toy in this case new is used so new to me <laughs> it's a redline BMX an MX 24 so considered a cruiser now back in the 80s I had a Diamondback Senior Pro which I absolutely loved most of my friends actually had red lines and to me in that time in those days I was uh, about in middle school and those cruisers seemed huge I cannot imagine riding a cruiser that was sort of like older bigger guys and this cruiser just seems so small <laughs> compared to my mountain bike it just seems so small but it actually does fit me well you know it has a long top tube the geometry is very steep uh, it's a little different what I remember from riding BMX back in the day back in the 80s it does feel a little awkward after riding BMX um, way back then and now having stuck to mountain biking with you know lax geometry so I'm kind of scared to go on the trail but anyways uh, there's my little new toy my red line $150 used in really good condition it has new tires it's basically stock it comes with three-piece cranks also branded red line the sprocket here is a 40 tooth and I have an 18 tooth freewheel on the back came with these answer adjusters here not sure if those are the original brakes or not the seat I'm also not sure if this the original seat this like a racing seat it has it's like all integrated into the seat post so there's no sitting on this thing during a race you really don't sit down you're up and just sprinting the whole race has an FSA threadless headset it has a red line stem with a red line handlebar I might see if I can find a taller handlebar but I want to take it out to the track first and see how that this feels has red line wheels and I think this was a little upgrade that the previous owner did it did not come with pedals when I bought it so I put I bought these <laughs> this is the third set of these pedals that I buy I have a review on them they are they'll range between 20 and 25 dollars I really like them I have them on two of my mountain bikes and that's pretty much it but I haven't been to a track in a long time I'm planning on going this week and I hope everything goes well because like I said it's very different it feels so different from my mountain bike and it feels so different from what I remember from my BMX days and I still can't believe how small it seems for a 24 inch so any tips of you guys that BMX currently please let me know I had to look up like what the recommended uh, PSI for BMX bikes is nowadays because I had no idea back in the day we used knobby tires now these are almost like street tires not very aggressive but that's apparently what's being used so tips comments please let me know because I do not know a whole lot about B current BMX so I hope you enjoy it give me some tips cheer me on <laughs> hope I don't fall and thanks for watching